getting back from the half time. <laughs> Last start of the final <laughs> term. Sorry, not. 16 12 108. <laughs> oh, no. 10 7 67. Morgan gets it down. Lawson runs through the middle again, goes towards full forward. Keisha, oh, third in line. Collins takes the mark for the Devils. And we'll just settle the play down. Kicks left foot. Wasn't supposed to go to uh, Manning, no. but it ended up there. <laughs> so Manning takes Lucky the mark. Lucky it did, because yeah. Noel made a lot of ground. He did. So Manning wants to switch the oh. play. And gee whiz, I'll tell it's you. out the full. That is no. extremely oh. close to being out on the full. Kazol takes the mark and goes towards Laurie. So they switch the play That's to better. the the uh, eastern side of the ground and he chips the ball over the top oh. Talentai can't take the mark back Jones gives it away Hawkins back in board he's turned the ball over too and Stack takes the mark terrible kick so now Stack for Carayo goes to the outer side again Talentai again got a couple against him off hands at the back don't pay that hold on the ball no. for God's sake Cornwall was he wrapped plays up that, I'm going home. I'm going footy. to jump in the ice bath. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. So ball up, centre wing. Contest over the shoulder, said the umpire. Free kick to Werribee. Morgan's going to have it. Once they, the footy comes back to those him. Those are the little free kicks that you just hate. Handballs it away to Lawson. Thought about the bounce. Then he handballs it to Kutsumanis, who runs through the middle. Goes with the right foot, kick to the pocket, terrible. Laurie takes the mark for Cryo, turned it over. He switches play towards Smith, who's on half back, runs away. Goes with the right foot, kick towards Nolan at half forward. Can take the mark. Hold him up, hold him up! Look to well, the wheel around Harrison. Up. So Nobby plays on, goes towards half forward. Good kick too. Day takes the mark. We'll take a good kick from there, I suspect. Well, he handballs it away to Smith. He goes with a left foot kick. High, long kick towards the square. Harrison got a couple against him. Harrison just stood there. Well, he nearly took the mark. He tried to handball it away, and it was pushed through for one behind. So I thought he took the mark. Yeah. I just couldn't quite see. Mouse might have got a hand to it. 10-12, uh, sorry, 10-8. Is it 10-8? 10-8, 68. It is two. Cryer, where it be? 16-12, 108. And that's on the Smiths Holden. Blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard. Two and a half minutes played. Kutsamanis doing the kicking in again for the Werribee side. And he decides to go to the 50-metre line. Mark in front was good by Talentire, so he can uh, give Cryo another opportunity to score here. Goes a little bit high into the goal square, so he set a target back there. Over the back, the ball runs, picked up by Day, got boot to ball. Touch says the umpire, and through for a minor score. So it's 10-9 now to Cryo, 16-12, Werribee. This time it's Brown who does the kicking in, goes out wide. The mark is taken out there by Speziali. He now goes over the top, running player, Novanek. He takes the ball outside their defensive 50, so they move it nicely to that position. He goes now towards centre wing. Set a target, coming over the top, mark not taken, picked up by Jones on the right boot. He goes back towards the half forward line. Kasia from behind, Kazole in front, front of the boy, picked the ball up, got the handball away on as far as Yoon. It was a throw anyway. Yep. Umpire call play on now, and it ends up in the hands there of Stack, who turns and goes back towards centre wing to Kennedy. Can't take the mark. It's called play on. Advantage is now being called, so it goes to Yoon. He goes quickly into the forward line, out in front. Mark is taken this time, and it's a good one by Harrison. See, it was in the air. It wasn't at his feet. A few more of them like that need to kick six or seven, this kid. So he goes back again. A fair run up. He's going to deal with about a 40 metre kick. Going back just that far again, I think. So we'll just wait for the approach. Coming in slowly. Hey, what? I reckon he's 30 seconds are up, aren't he? 50. Crosses over. Kicks towards goal. And oh, I think he's, he's got it. He's got it, I think. I think he think. has. And he's got his fifth. For the afternoon, and the 11th now for Carrillo. So 11 goals, 9, Carrillo. 16-12 to the Werribee side, and we have gone nearly four and a half minutes. Final quarter, Smith's holding Blood Ziggy scoreboard. Well, it just shows you the fact that I've harped on all day. If they kick the ball in properly to either Harrison or Nolan, they'll kick the goals for you. And I don't know, do you reckon it just plays on players' mind? This is what happened last time. They've kicked the first one. There's a little bit of doubt creep into it. I think it does. It's creeping into me. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, That's because you're a pessimist. That's why. No, no, I've seen it happen. Nah, that'd well, be he's fine. kicked 22 goals out of seven games this year and Nolan 13 out of four games. So. Morgan out of the middle to Hawkins. Yeah. Goes towards Jones. Can't take it with him. Brad Hill. Oh, that's a, that's a hold. Oh, the man. said play on. And then he gets away by hand. Devlin gives it away to Cadman through the middle. Left foot kick wide. And towards half forward. Off the back of the pack. Goes now. Ha ham slick handballs. Came out Grusling. Got out to Delaney on centre wing for Werribee. Goes towards half forward. Getting back to Zoll. Took the mark. Got the handball away. Laurie. Little short little handball. And they go towards centre wing. But it's all Werribee. Grusling. Reads the play. They just put themselves under a bit of pressure coming out. Reads the ball, takes the mark on centre wing, tries to chip the ball. Oh, He's turned the ball over geez. as well. And Kennedy takes the mark. Goes to half forward. And Novenick takes the mark for Werribee. He's, He's been all right, kick Cal. He's been all right, the yep. boy. He goes to the left foot, out wide. And set a little bit of a task. Where's Delaney come from? Grub? Leighton. Leighton. New South Wales. But someone told me at half time he might have played a little bit at Werribee Districts before he went, so I'm not, don't know if that's right or not. He plays on, gives it to Brown, gives it back to him. Oh, he's terrible there. Robertson the other way for Carayo. Inside 50, Harrison. No chance. That's and it. he's taken the mark and will shoot for goal from 50 or well, 45 out directly in front. He's kicked five. Is that your car, Grub? Wouldn't have an alarm on it. I haven't even got a horn on it. <laughs> so Daniel Harrison to make it. I reckon they've dropped the ball. I reckon they're just playing rubbish. Two I reckon it's on here. <laughs> so Harrison comes in for goal number six. Forty-five out. Left foot kick. He's missed, missed that one to the near side. So his first blemish for the afternoon. 5-1, they go to 11-10-76 Karai, they trail where every 16-12 or 108, Smith's holding Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard, 7 minutes played So Kutamatis again kicking in for on the Werby side at the fullback position player leads short, and it was Wilson but he ignores that, he decides to go long outside 50, out there Mark has not taken, Morgan had it underneath, went back, the handball comes out, Speziali picks the ball up delivers the ball only in the hands of Chris Laurie he goes back quickly to the forward line. Oh, a little bit of a push. Umpire says that was okay, does he? Plays on. <laughs> goes back to the goal square. Nolan. Oh, oh good boy. Coach. And he's done nicely there because uh, he got all ball, I think. Arrived in the split second he needed to. And it took the ball away. I think Robinson would have been better to go back and kick the goal. Yes, I think so. But he had two in the square. Yeah. So the unselfishness came out, but he kicked it too high. The ball now thrown back in by the umpire. Front of the square. Morgan taps it back towards the boundary line. And another ball in the tape place. Right beside the behind post. The fella comes in a fair way, which he should do. That's uh, well thought out. Ball thrown back in. Picked up there. Contest day. Got the handball out. Went back to Cadman, put it on the left boot, went back towards the goal square. Harrison there, couldn't take the mark, picked up at ground level by Wilson. Kutsamanis decides to go back, put his uh, teammate under a little bit of pressure, got the handball away to Corringe once again. So he's now in space. Well, he just got boot to ball, Jeez. delivered the ball outside 50. They're doing what there. they did last time, picked exactly. Up, picked up by Kennedy. Kennedy looks sideways, goes towards Yoon. Kick wasn't good because it's held in the air a bit too long. And he uh, was... Picked up by Werribee, but the ends up in the hands of Foster. He couldn't pick the ball up cleanly. Kicked off the ground by Killinder. He goes towards the centre of the ground. Coming through now. Jones. Devlin has the ball in front of himself. He needs to pick the ball up. He's running it away, but it's picked up there by Wilson. He's held without the ball. Umpire's allowed it to go on, so neither player can get down and pick it up. Chris Laurie did put that ball out in front of himself and has now pushed the ball over the boundary line. So there's going to be a ball in between centre wing and the half forward line. It is a good story, the Chris Laurie one. All four of us saw him crack his ankle. Doctor said he couldn't walk on it for the next 12 um, weeks, and here he is four senior games back. The ball chucked in. A the push there, and it go to Phil Jones, the free kick. It's as if they've given a lot of free kicks away in the ruck, Roy, haven't they? They haven't got the height, I think, Grub. You tend to do yeah. that sort of things. You tend to worry about the ball. The yeah. ball comes across as a nice kick. Went to Boyd. Can play on now. And from 50, loads up, goes long to the goal square. Out the back, player by himself. I'll tell you the what, he saw him taken. out there. 
that's a hell of a good kick because he didn't kick it to the goal scorer. He saw the bloke just out the back to the right, and that's exactly where he kicked it. So Lawson with an opportunity. Gets to his feet now. I don't think you'll be worrying about watching the bloody corridor, mate. So Lawson taking plenty of time here. The umpire's not asked him to go on this yet. He now comes in from the forward pocket, the old banana. I think he's done it pretty nicely there. And he kicks the second goal for himself this afternoon. And the 17th now for the Werribee side. They're 17 goals, 12. <coughs> and they'll lead on 11 goals, 10. We've gone 10 and a half minutes. Final quarter. It's Miss Holden Blood Suzuki scoreboard. Well, don't worry about the score, what the scoreboard says. I reckon for the last five minutes, Werribee were doing exactly what they were doing in the first five minutes of the last quarter last time. Kicking it down the throat of the opposition, hand worn to the opposition, and just losing their way a bit. But they had a little bit of luck run their way. And that was a beautiful kick by Boyd. He meant every minute of that, and that was a great goal. Looks like he's caught one for his mm. troubles too. But that happens at Corio sometimes. <laughs> I got hit by a stubby by one of the dummy boys once. Yeah. <laughs> right in the back of the head. So I picked it up and drank it. <laughs> and handed it back to him. And they all cheered me and that and they left me alone for the rest of the day. That's the truth. That's a true story. He asked Stewie Rowe. He told me, hand it back. He told me to do it. So back to the middle. They were scary. Those dunny boys sitting there drinking long necks and they were scary. <laughs> Grace and Morgan. Morgan double handed down to Nia oh, That's great. Great work. Right foot kick inside 50. Not so great. Out oh. wide, Collins and Turner. And they see it over. Collins sees it over the line for a throw. About 30 around from Werribee's goal. That was pretty good, Corey. He deliberately tapped it over and then picked it up and run away. And then, said, well, what's not out? A beautiful play, just to make sure that they don't play deliberate. So a throw in. Keisha and Grace. Keisha in front. Grace got the big tap down. Oh, Wilson coming the other way, back towards the goal square, no but home. it's all Corio. Chris Laurie takes the mark. He's got uh, oh. Cleary long. Oh, he's got to sit under it and wait for a while. It's okay. He's got some time. Kutsumanis was there, but he kicks it back in, boys. Okay, too. Stack takes the mark, back end of the centre square. He runs away and gives it by hand to Smith. He goes long towards half forward. Nolan. That's a free kick. That, that one had to be. For a hold. Nobby wants it, but it's going the other way, yeah, surely. He's holding on to the Werribee player. That time he was. So Brown, back to the middle of the ground. Or oh, Kutsumanis in amongst four. He took the mark. Plays on now, goes to half forward. Briggs takes the mark. Does he? Yes, he does. Handballs it away to Delaney. He goes back in board. Setting it up. Turner goes up. Oh, third man in line. Keisha play on, said the umpire. Quarry up. Right foot kick. Into the wards, the goals, and the mark's been taken by Brendan Wilson. He's in the right forward pocket. Corey Collins standing the mark is right next to the behind post. So, what's he going to do? He's kicked three this afternoon. He comes in, check side, missed it. The two shallow, three for one behind to him and where are we going to 17 13 115 and they lead cry 11 10 76 and that's on the Swiss Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard 14 minutes played so Chris Laurie now with the ball at the fullback position Collins wide Jude now makes a lead towards the half-back oh, no. line. It's a good kick out in space. He comes up and takes the mark. So Jude turns and spins and goes quickly back towards the middle of the ground. In front, good spoil there from Jones. Gets to the contest, picked up by Morgan. To Nia Weller, handball comes back outside. So they've got the ball now in space, picked up there by Brown. Handball's over the top to Jones. Jones back to Delaney. Delaney back inside, Kutsamanis. Got the little, little oh. away handball, didn't hit the target. Picked up by Robinson, kick smothered. Picked up by... His player or a teammate there in Cleary goes back to Robertson, tries to run away from the contest. They will get boot to ball as far as Cadman. Another look away handball. Goes further afield. And this is kicked up by Cleary once again. They went wide. Has it gone too wide? I don't think the umpire can have any chance to see where that bounced because I can't. 
And he was back as close to it as I was. So that ball in the forward line for the Devils. Doesn't matter. It was just too wide to give his teammate a chance, wasn't it? That's been the story of the day. The disposals from both sides have been very, very poor. So from the half forward line, the ball will be thrown back in. Grace has gone down to do the ruck work. Nia Weller does the uh, ruck work. But Throw it in again. Back over the boundary. Umpire's going to have to repeat his last effort. Well, I hope he does it a little bit better. A little bit shallow. Long, long day. Look at Phil Jones with his blue socks pulled up. He looks like an idiot. <laughs> Pull your socks down, Jones. You look like a goose. You might want to have a haircut, too. He looks like an idiot. <laughs> ball tapped down. And it's in front of the contest. A number of players converge, and it's going to be a ball up. Same position as the ball the throw in before. So we've got the umpire coming quickly. Morgan there doing the ruck work. Also Grace still there doing some work. Noelle thinks he's third man up. Taps the ball wide. Picked up by Brown. Went one lead then back the next. Kicked his ball around the body. Back towards the half back line. Couldn't be marked there by Gazal. Went back and collected it. Shrugs the tackle. Handball goes away to McConaughey. Handballed upside and Cleary coming through. Put his head down. And it's been do you know what they need to do at Werribee? Raise funds for MND and raise funds for Phil Jones' haircut. Haircut. Mm -hmm. yeah. A ball up takes place again. Uh, one, one player got his hand on it. Morgan picked it up and tried to get a boot away. Didn't hit his foot, so free kick goes to Yoon. So Yoon now looking towards Harrison in the pocket. That's where he goes in that direction. Jason Yoon's also there. Ball tapped away there by Corrins. Did nicely. Picked up there and cleared away by Quarrier. Came back out towards centre wing. Mark not taken there by... Con uh, yeah, who that was? Yeah, that's it. Gazzol. <laughs> <laughs> Gazzol. And it's got to run to the boundary line. Now it's been uh, over the boundary line. And Nobby Nolan's picked up. That's the hardest part of your body, Nob. It's one about his head. Again, Morgan and Grace do the ruck work. Comes out the back. Morgan, nice clean pick up. Handballs to Briggs to the running player in Boyd. Takes a bounce. His game on this uh, bounce, but he takes one, takes two. Runs to 25. Kicks towards goal. And got he it. He has snuck it in. So Boyd with his first goal of the afternoon. And the 18th now for the Werribee side. 18 13, Werribee. They lead Corio on 11 goals, 10. And we have gone 17 and a half minutes, final quarter. Smith Holden plays a two scoreboard. Tell you what, he's got a ton of pace, Boyd. He always has, and he knows where the goals are. Uh, look, he's been a pretty good player for Werribee Centrals. Today, a little bit down. I'd just like to see him do a little bit more. He's been all right. But when he gets the ball like that, I think Ewan was chasing him. He never gave up either. He knew he couldn't catch him, but he set a bit of an example for the kids. It was good footy by Boyd, and I think they're pretty well safe now. You would hope so. Yeah, they won't come back now. Well, it's nearly siren time. It's 18 minutes played in the final. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> Extra time. <laughs> so back to the middle. Grace and Morgan. Morgan gets it down. Rove, though, and back to Grace. Goes the right foot kick inside 50, but uh, spare man there, Delaney, takes the mark for Werribee. Goes to the outer side. He's turned the it's ball a over. Shocking kick. Stack takes the mark. The coach did say to me this morning, they get a lot of it and they turn it over, and he's right. So now... Wide to Grace, left foot kick, long to the pocket. Oh, that was a push from Dave. It, anyway. it didn't matter anyway, Morgan marked it. Switches the play, goes oh, across the face of goal. They chip the ball to Novanek, doesn't quite sit for him though. Oh, now the ball just sits back up for him. And he can run onto it, give the handball away to Delaney. He gives the handball outboard. They've got a bit of time at half back to go towards centre wing and turn the ball over again, but possibly because Zoll comes in. Keisha, they fight for it. Keisha on the up. Jason Hewan through the middle, him and Jones. And it will be a ball up. Centre wing, right in front of our commentary position. Jones and Keisha go up and Jason Hewitt. Robertson tried to ride the bump. He gets it away to Cadman. Gets around. Back to Robertson off a step. And Grace was waiting for it to go out of bounds. He was, floor, wasn't he? But uh, in the end, it stayed in. He picked it up. He got one high. The umpire said play on. Short little kick came from Cleary. And... Nolan picks it up, goes back in board, looks for the pass. Brad Hewan's there. McConaughey as well. Kick around the corner to the goal square. Harrison used the body, then couldn't take the mark. Did he get one high? Oh, I'll tell you what, he could have said, got no. a kick there, you know. Oh, I think he should have. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think there's been, that's about three or four that he could have got. Yeah. So 
So another behind to Grier. They go to 11, 11, 77. Trail where it'll be 18, 13, 121. Smith's holding Blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard, 20 played. He held him out with his body. He had, the, had no choice but to give him a push and everything to get back into the contest. So Kutamata straight down the middle of the ground. Goes long. Looking for him. We'll find Kasia. Strong mark. <coughs> he goes out wide now. Player by himself out there. It's Boyd now. You know, this bloke can run. We take him on. He just ambles away. A little short kick up over the top to Laney. Put him under pressure and turns the ball over because Jason Ewan has taken the mark. Well, it's 50. Play it's got to be 50. Umpire. No, he called the play on. Oh, did he? Yeah. But he swung him round. Yeah. No, he called the play on. So he's... Uh, Run over the boundary line, so we're going to throw him up far side of the ground. Did, but why did he? Didn't he mark it? He marked it, and then got swung around, so they called play on. No, he'd already he'd already kept running, oh. and the umpire called play on. Oh, I think he's <coughs> tapped down by Kasia, picked up. Handball was good, and it was by Knight. Again, Boyd runs inside fifty, goes towards goal. This time it runs this across one. the face. Three, four, a minor score. 1-3 to Boyd, and 18-14 to the Werribee side. 11-11 to Carrillo, and we have gone 21 minutes, final quarter. You've lost the uh, lead in the tips, too. You're equal now. Oh, you pick Carrillo. The Devil Devils. Who picked Carrillo? He did. <laughs> You're a total idiot. You throw the tipping away by doing that. You are a mental <laughs> idiot. Surely he didn't try to do what I did and pick Thompson just to try and sneak one. Laurie goes in. Jason Hewan and also Kazol. Kazol, blind turn out. Oh, has to be quick. He did. Left foot kick into the middle. Grace runs back. Sits for uh, Turner. His handball missed the target. Grace tries to keep it in front. Needs some support. Gets some. Cadman, handball out. Bob was good to Smith. Goes from centre wing. Inside 50. Harrison have a jump at it. Punch to the front. Over the shoulder, said the umpire. And Harrison will take the free kick. I reckon the last one was more of a free kick. Yeah, yeah so do I. <laughs> that was the uh, payback, I think. So Harrison will have a set shot for goal. 50 out directly in front. He's kicked five goals, one. Today, Daniel Harrison. As I see Grace limping from the ground. So Daniel Harrison... Northern end of the ground. Coming in. Left foot kick. High. And... Ooh, no, I don't think it's made... The, uh, yeah, I don't think it's made the distance. So we would be happy to see it through. For a rushed behind. They go to 11-12-78, the Devils. And they trail where it be 18-14... 122, and that's on the Swiss Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. 23 minutes played. Kutamatis to the back pocket, picked up their quarry, goes back outside 50. The mark is going to be taken out there by Stack. It was uncontested. He looks sideways, goes quickly towards Yoon. So he's taken a mark in space by himself. Just settling things down now, looking for the options further afield. Player short is Day. Harrison, they lead him to the same spot, but uh, call the play on there by the umpire. Goes out wide. Robertson in front. Holds the Good position, grab. Takes the mark, swings on the left foot. Goes quickly back towards goal. Was looking for Manning, but unfortunately went away and it's gone out of bounds on the full. So a free kick will go to the Werribee side. And I think that's Brown back there with the ball. And beside the behind post, as a look up, kick had to be good. He, Cohen didn't know whether he was expecting it or not, but he's got the ball now. A little short kick further afield. Again, Marcus taken out there. Hopkins just uh, waiting to deliver the ball. It goes into the middle of the ground. Jones, the target, comes up, makes the contest ball. Back towards Knight, head over the contest, picks the ball up. Ends up in the hands of Boyd. Handles back over the top. Jones has got it. He's got runners inside, goes back to Boyd. Back to Hawkins. Made him stop and wait. Now Smith arrives, puts pressure on. Can't bend down and pick the ball up. Has support also, but the ball has just kept running forward. Picked up by Smith finally. Tries to get through one. Got the kick away. Not 15. Hawkins again. Handles away. Ball picked up by Boyd. Was going to take him on. Went outside the quarry. Stopped and propped. Handles back over the top. Went to Wilson. Wilson running away from goal. Needs support. It goes back towards Boyd. Can stop. Have a look at goal. This time he goes straight. And Boyd has got his second goal of the afternoon. Two goals, three to that player. And now 19-14. The Werribee side. 11 goals, 12 Carayo. 25 minutes gone. Final quarter. Smith's holding Bloods. He's pretty quick, Bordy. But when the pace goes out of the game and everyone else gets tired, 
he just looks so much, he's got so much more time and it makes it so much more easier. But I watched Harrison at the other end of the ground. He's been a sensational goal kicker and I'm not taking anything away from the other sides, but he's been a sensational goal kicker for West and for Corio. Geez, I'd love to see him sitting in full forward for Belpo Sill. Belpo Sill have got Page kicking goals and Costello a little bit. I reckon you stick him in a full forward there, he'd kick a thousand in a year. <laughs> Back to the middle, K Sharp. And Kennedy, Cadman, does the roving, gets out, left foot kick to Hugh and Brad. Left half forward, handballs it back to brother Jason. Gets around, gets around two Werribee players, back in board, handball over the top, McConaughey. Gives it away to Cadman, goes in towards Harrison. He's like that delivery all the time. Cadman to Harrison. And he'll have a set shot for goal for goal number six from about 25 out, 45 degree angle. Well, he deserves six, I reckon. Probably deserve seven or eight. So Daniel Harrison. Oh, siren time here, 26 North played. Shore. North Shore's up by three points over South Bow and Dale, and they haven't beat the Swans since 2005. So Daniel Harrison, goal number six, comes in. Third income, wow. Comes in for his measured run up and misses and easily misses. So five goals to his personal tally. Maybe I wouldn't put him up there. 11 13 <laughs> 79 Karai. They trail Werribee 19 14 128. Smith Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard 26 and a half played. <laughs> Last couple of minutes, just chuck Nevada in the goal square. Hope for the best. So Brown kicking in now from the fullback position goes far side of the ground. Tell you what, there's a lot of red out there. Mark has been taken out there, good hands. <coughs> goes to you, and he's done that uh, all his career. He's been, always had a good pair of hands, so he's now going to be able to push the ball back into the forward line. A little short chip up over the top. Robertson again comes up just inside <coughs> 50, so just outside range here. As you leading back towards centre four, that was Brad. Harrison also leading, but he decides now to load up and goes long. Going to land in the goal square. At the back, the ball is pushed through and through for another rush behind. So Corio have kicked one goal, seven in the final quarter. It's a and bad kick. To 11 14 and 19 14 to the Werribee side. 27 and a half minutes gone, final quarter. Smith Holt and Blood Suzuki scoreboard. So the kick in comes to Wilson at half back, goes to centre wing, looks for Speziali, gets a hand to it, and then gets the kick away, goes towards half floored. Down the field. Well, it can't be downfield. It went out in the full. Clear he's broken his nose, I think, going into the back of Speziali. Went out in the full, didn't it? Yeah, but it's a free kick down the field. Which means it's got to come yeah. back here because right. it went out in the full. It's just stupid. Right. Okay. The ball goes into Werribee. Don't have a crack at me. I don't. Not coach you. Briggsy! Kicks a goal. His second of the afternoon. Best player on the ground, I reckon. Uh, 20 goals, 14, 134. Werribee Central's Karai 11 14 80, and that is on the Smiths Hold Blood Suzuki final quarter score. But we're playing overtime now, 28 and a half played final term. I've got his stats here if you want them. Yeah, have you? Yeah. 22 kicks, couple of goals, beautiful play around the four line, no tackles, no shepherds, no smothers. <laughs> and that's Briggs from a long, long way back. And that's why I kept trying to tell him in the under 18s when I used to do the running. You've got to do the team things as well. Imagine when he starts doing that, he'll be a really Imagine having good him coming out and having a crack at you as the runner. Imagine that. Hey? I, got, I nearly got reported no, for surprise, swearing surprise. at my own players. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And it wasn't my fault. The coach was an idiot. It was Shane Grigg. <laughs> You're an idiot. You are an idiot. I don't know how... Um, hey, you coming over to sing the song, Mark? See you what? <laughs> South Bowen in front. Okay. Uh, back of the umpire, middle of the ground, 29 minutes gone. Can't be too much to uh, go in this quarter. Ball is thrown up in the middle of the ground. Both players get a tap at it. Kennedy the last, taps it forward. Picked up by Quarry going the other way. Novanek kicks back towards centre wing. The mark will be taken out there. No, it wasn't. Ball goes through the hands of Cleary. Went back to try to collect it. Has it underneath himself now. And the, uh, Speziali jumps on top. And there's going to be a ball up. No hard ball gets. <laughs> <laughs> is that a stat to him at these days? Yep, of course. So it's tapped down once again, the ball, possessions. ground level, picked up. And it's going to be another ball up. Umpire can't see it coming out. So 
Robertson, the last to get off the ground. Pulled up by the umpire. Again, Casey doing the ruck work. Robertson comes in, applies a tackle, picked up there. Knight, he can't clear the ball out. So we're going to do it all over again. So what did they kicked in the last quarter? 1-7. One 1-7. Seven. One seven. So yeah. it was on, wasn't it? If they kicked straight, it's on. Yeah, yeah, there's about close. three rush behinds. Yeah. And there's the siren that will end the game. And see, we're at 2014, 134, defeat the Cryo side, 11-14-80. Goal kickers for the game for the winning side.